be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video I'm gonna be going over how you can make your 808 shorter like you can in FL using their CFL sampler knob. Okay, we're gonna do that in Logic Pro 10 though. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Now, first things first, um, I would recommend that you bring in your samples, your 808 samples into the quick sampler all right that's going to be the first step so we'll go to this software instrument track right here and then we're going to go over here uh to the quick sampler okay and from here what we'll do is we can just go to splice it doesn't matter where you go but you can go to splice you can go to your sounds um and let's just type in 808 let's grab an 808 sound So that's cool. We're going to bring that in. It has a kind of a long tail to it. So this 808 is a little bit longer than what you would normally see. Um, I'm just going to push this command K to bring up musical typing. So you see that that is a longer 808. So if we want to make it shorter in uh, Logic Pro 10, the best way to do this is literally just drag and drop this into the quick sampler and in classic mode you can come over here and take this guy right here this is your fade kind of your like fade tool move this out and then take the very end of this down here where it has this arrow and it's drag this in some super simple and then you can make it shorter shorter or long as you need it compared to this. So that's a quick way to make your uh, 808s shorter like you would in FL Studios using the FL sampler or whatever, so or that sample knob that they use, okay? So that's the video. Don't wanna overextend this or over, you know, whatever on the video, but uh, make sure you check out my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses on there. We also have kits you can get. Um, and appreciate y'all watching. If you don't do anything else, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.